sounds like a, oh. But I'm just, all right. They're all just, 69. <laughs> I was going to do that! So it begins. Get. <laughs> also, sorry, ahead of time, I'm going to warn everybody. Um, for whatever reason, my microphone has been blowing up, so please lower <laughs> You don't sound too bad. Okay. Um, okay. You sound normal. That's good. Yeah. It's just it's been uh, really annoying. I have noted where it is velvety. What? Oh, I see. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I just noticed that my mic was going on and when I was chewing. So I will mute myself when that happens. Yum, yum, yum. Crunchy, crunch. It's pretty crunchy. That's a good chicken tender. <laughs> uh, it's a nuggy. Thank you. I thought they were called. I thought it was. These are oh. these are not the nuggets. These. Oh, candies. you got the buttered milk crispy chicken tenders. Yes. So tendies. The things that actually taste good. Yeah, when they're not like all gristle. I have not had McDonald's in a while. I kind of like how their chicken is. Like their I nuggets. hate. Precisely. I hate their nuggies, but I love a Big Mac. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the thing is, like, I'm always scared of like eating fast food because it's like, oh, it's it's I'm gonna want more. Yeah, if you guys want to know how my house is doing, you can refer to my uh, big moving bed on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh, none. They fixed that. Oh, good. Uh, our Wait, pilot what? light for our water heater will be lit tomorrow, so we'll finally have hot water, and I can stop going to my old house to take showers. You could just take cold showers. I no, I'm good. Freezing cold. <laughs> oh. oh. I wouldn't be surprised if we learned that South only takes freezing cold showers. I don't. I'd be like, all right, okay. On the hey, contrary, I, I take very hot showers. Yeah, me too. Well, then I, you're a normal I, person. I like to be a boiled chicken when I come out. Holy shit! <laughs> you know, you know that you know that like that bucket they do in like Asian countries where they like put it over a fire. That seems like a wonderful oh. time to me. Oh, I see. The, you, did you? See, yeah, they do like this thing where. Yeah, they yeah, put, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't see. Oh, they they, they just boil people like chickens in Asia. What? For that. <laughs> See, I was still trying to connect it back to the chicken thing, and I'm like, boiled chick, huh? Like, mm -hmm. you're talking about a dish. No, we that... go over it again. Okay, so you take a bucket, you take a person, yeah, you take some water, yeah, and you get a big fire going, right? Mm -hmm. And then you put yourself in the bucket somehow. <laughs> somehow. Is it a big bucket or? You a gotta water? figure that out first. But once big... you're in that bucket, whoo, it's boy. a big bucket. It's a big bucket, up to your shoulders. Except for life. No and then, and then you, t and then you test your tolerance, and you stay there as long as you can, before you f you remember that you are basically boiling yourself, oh, and then man. you get out. It's so weird that it's making me want to sauna very badly. I would love huh? that. Yeah. Just like, give me a steam bath, please. Well, All as right. it happens. Does <laughs> the hotel have a sauna? It does. Yay! Ooh! That sounds That's I'm always like not what I want. A mind Santa? Yeah. Steve's well, the best I can me. offer you right now. The hotel. Gonna... At this point, you guys have finished whatever you decided to eat. Um, oh, yeah. Gadaris has finished tor uh, torturing his former master. Oh, oh yeah. yeah the potato guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh,. Yes, you're free to make use of the hotel's. Excuse me. Um. Whoa. What? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got to watch the hotel's uh, amenities. Mm. What? As you desire. Um, or you can go to bed. I. I am going. To partake in their smoking lounge. What? Did you just their, say smoking lounge? Their smoking, smoking lounge. 
you know, right. the, that they have the, the dank things. Oh, the dank ones. Yeah. Wouldn't that be outside? This is a nice succubus. No, if you did it outside, you never stop. However, you are led to a chamber <laughs> off the uh, off the um, hallway where the rooms open up from. And uh, yes, within there's several uh, seats. Um, Question: there, Are the seats people? The seats do not appear to be people. They appear to be pillows. Become man pillows. Does it happen? I heard a crunch. That... <laughs> that was the sound. Oh. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> I. I I I I don't want this. <laughs> the sound of a pillow growing bones suddenly. <laughs> oh! I didn't think God. about using this for sound effects. I I, <laughs> I it didn't occur to me the idea of a man pillow being boneless. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yes, within our pillows there is a uh, succubus attendant, an arago. Offers you a variety of tinctures, files, and uh, smokables. Leaning down and uh, proffering them to you, Kasumi. I partake. In which? All of them? Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, good night. Okay, make me a fucked up. Yeah, make a fortitude save. <laughs> Why are we? Like several. No, just make a fortitude save. I'm just gonna ask. I forgot. Why are we here? It's in the hotel. No, we're the... we're resting here before we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just I wanted to remember what what the hotel was for. Because I remember the ambrosia. I was like, wait, is it? In... <laughs> All right, Kasumi, you just do one of everything. And after it, your your mind is expanded beyond your skull. You yeah. see, you smell colors, and you taste sounds. Neat. Um, and uh, I, and you have successfully avoided, like, taking... A whole bunch of constitution damage. Hell yeah. Hey, what does purple smell like? I mean, what does purple taste like? Sound? Whatever. It tastes like sound, yes. Oh. Gotta stop crunching. Well, I just finished. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was muted. <laughs> um, so, so that's what Kasumi does. Uh, Kasumi, you um, you collapse into a heap, softly drooling. The succubus puts puts you up on a chair and uh, turns you over on your side so you don't choke on your own vomit. And uh, yeah, you seem pretty good. So what is everyone else doing? Um, That's a wise one. So, so, so what's it like working here at the Succubus Hotel? Who are you saying this to? The Succubus. Which one? Any, I, the one that... Yeah, just talking to them. Hey, hello. I, I'm just kind of curious. What's it like working in a succubus hotel? Huh? Well, it's better than just being a regular succubus, I think, because there's less like pressure to like go out and steal souls and stuff like that. Oh, you know what? I've always been curious about a succubus is like uh, natural like opportunities. What's it like? Huh? Oh, well, mostly you just sort of hang around waiting for mortals to ramble into the verdant groves and 
try to convince them to stay for the rest of their lives or to kill themselves with some uh, uh, excessive pleasure that uh, overwhelms their constitution, um, such that their soul is trapped here forevermore by the will of Polonius, unable to escape to the to solitude for its final judgment. Oh, fascinating! That's absolutely or, you fascinating. Know, you know, you chill out. Uh, okay, that's really cool. Do incubuses have big dicks? <laughs> Oof. Well, to clarify, incubus and succubus is something that you mortals like do because you're used to like having you know, gender binary. We oh. uh, we're really both or neither. The answer is how big you want it. Oh. Fascinating. Oh what, a, what a curious, what a curious place. All right, well, is there any chance you could join Outer Heaven? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, well. All right, I guess I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> to be fair, as soon as I found out we were here, I've had that light like, line back in my head. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty happy with how it went, so... Um, all right, so, Sada, you go back to your bed. You lay down on it. Kasumi, uh, you're in a room with um, Shunichi and... All right. Shunichi, Sada, Paulina, and I believe Kasumi? Or Suru? I believe it's Kasumi as well. Sure. It is. So yes, Sada, you go into your bed. Shunichi is there as well. He is sort of um, camped out in the floor, uh, meditating. He doesn't really say anything as you come in. And uh, yeah, you you uh, shut yourself of your armor. You get into the bed, and you are immediately overwhelmed with just how comfortable it is. The bed. Is the most comfortable bed you have ever laid down in. You sink into it. Every portion of you is, and you are perfect, perfectly supported in every way. And uh, yeah, you very rapidly drift off to sleep. Especially emotionally. Are we gonna? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Um, Akio. You What's are up? in a room with Suru, Mino, and Pascal. Suru is still drinking. Mino has also turned in and is currently sleeping on one of the beds, leaving a different bed, presumably for you and Pascal. Or, you know. But, um... What's Suru yeah. sipping on? Suru is not there. Suru is still in the bar restaurant area drinking. Oh, I didn't realize. I could have had an opportunity to try out some... I don't know. You know what? I can't go to sleep without, like, drinking a... a, a what What do they call it? Wine... What, what do you call a box of wine? I, I need to drink me a cooler. No, yeah, a wine cooler is a type of drink. Um, Cartridge? Cellar? You want a bottle of wine? Or no. why not? Let's go for it. Also once Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. try it. Let's... A bottle of wine appears on your table as well as a chalice. Drink it. It uh if you want it refills. Oh well, uh, do I have to roll to see? A, do I how, do I have to roll to test the constitution or whatever? It depends. How much are you drinking? As much as I can before I hit the like I get knocked out by it. Okay. Um. Yeah, could you just roll constitution, please? All right. Oh. Well. Give me a moment. 
I don't have uh, a choice. Uh, understandable. I just I'm opening up my sheet. Okay. You uh you drain the bottle once and have started going in on the second one when uh, you start passing out. It's a very strong wine. Cool. All right. And that's what I do. Also, I need to step away from the computer for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. What is Pal doing? Uh, Sorry, I keep muting myself to eat french fries. This, she doesn't like this place. She doesn't want to partake, probably, in things. Oh, no. And, uh... The knowledge that we're probably going to have to fight a bunch of people who are also doing their best out there. It's kind of bumming her out. She probably just goes to bed. I don't know. She wants to be prepared for fights or whatever. <clears throat> Not an exciting answer, but that's just the way it goes. No, that's fine. All right. So, the night, such as it is, because there is no night day-night cycle here, passes. There isn't one. You... So, you, uh, you sleep for... The adequate number of hours. Um, waking up the uh, after your long rest. Refreshed. Revitalized. Um, it is a time for breakfast, if you would desire it. Otherwise, it would be time for you to get on your day and try to figure out where to go. I've seen so much. Yeah, you feeling all right? Oh, yeah, Kasumi just has, like, massive bags under her eyes. Did you get any rest at all? Maybe. Hey, hey, Kas Kasumi. <laughs> yep. Incredible sights. Uh, oh, no. We kind of need to be on the ball here. We can't just be... Oh, I was on the ball. I don't know what that means. The ball of space-time. That sounds great. I mm. hate this place. It was perfection. A plate of fire lizard bacon appears in front of you. Yeah. Done exactly how you want it to be. I think of the meat I saw in my dream. <laughs> no one else can see it, but it appears before you. I cry. Unless you just see an empty plate. Because you are, your mind's eye are not open enough to see what actually says, sits upon it. You eat it, it's not good. And yet, it's everything. <laughs> I, I, like, you can actually see in Kasumi's eyes, it's that scene from 2001, A Space Odyssey, where he's, like, going through the cosmos into the future. Becomes the giant space baby? The star child, yes. <clears throat> giant space baby. Um, yeah, so... Breakfast is nice. Um, you see that the other band of adventurers apparently is not either not attending breakfast or has left already. The maids, Michio, is still there. Chilling.
I wonder which one you will choose. You note that Kadaris is not with you. Hmm. Anyway, that was Michio intoning. Uh, Will you follow those others to their deaths, or will you actually listen to advice, I wonder? My advice is that you do not enter the theater of blood until such time as you are protected from its baleful malevolence. Audiences with the ruler of this of the pavilion of size are granted, not requested. You may need something that they want first. I mean may have something that they want first. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. -mm. Uh, no, I seriously didn't understand what you said. And so we that don't you mean that we may need to have something they want first? I don't know. The wording you used was odd. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was essentially what I said. But yes, the you you would have to be of interest to them. Yes. It's unfortunate, that other group. They went to the Theater of Blood. I warned them not to, but after your display, or by the display of your friend, they were less than inclined to listen to my suggestions now they are doomed so congratulations on that one how kind of you i would suggest you seek out a way of protecting yourself from the seditious, the vicious temptations of this place. Otherwise, as soon as you smell food and drink in the gardens of plenty, or slay your first enemy in the theater of blood, you will be consumed by them. I know what I just told you. I know of ways. Yes. Yes. Because your friend dumped a bunch of mashed potatoes on my head yes, and I'm <laughs> petty. Consider right, what I just told... All right, I'm back, and all I could hear was Tombstone back talking something that I assume was incredibly dangerous. Who's he back talking to? Like uh, I... the wizard that bound Gadaris to the uh, period. Okay, because I'm like, I could hear him like going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, not for that. Am I at this conversation? Okay. Yes. I think you deserve it. Well, I didn't ask you. I just felt like uh, providing my observation. Yes, well. What is, Do you it make use of my proffered advice or not? I really don't care. Okay. What's and the advice? That, he goes back to his book and his Wait, tea. What was the advice?
Oh yeah, I guess a wizard would know. The Gadars like warn us about this. Ah, I'm not good at I'm not good at like finding that boy. I hope he's not out there having a good time and he didn't invite us. Uh. Okay. Did you ask where we could inquire these protections? Self. Self. Yes. Can I roll to see that in my drug healed bender, I somehow figured out where we might find those protections? What? <laughs> roll a d20. If you roll a 20, yes. Come on, twenty. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I begin talking, saying something really prophetic, and then I just kind of like trail off. I'm so upset. That's so close. Within the Vernon Groves, the secrets of the. Remember to smash uh, that like well. button. That would have been really cool if I rolled the 20, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, you were so close. That's pretty cool on its own, right? Uh, hey, uh, Mr. Wizard. I don't know your name. What's his name? <laughs> Miss, Mr. Wizard. My name is Michio, and I have dispensed as much advice to you as I desire to for today. But, what, so you're saying we should... Are you saying... He looks up at you. What could you possibly offer me? That is not within your power to grant, unfortunately. But what, I mean, if that is not within our power to grant, then essentially what you're saying is that we're not even going to be able to do what, we're not going to be able to cross the Vernon Groves, right? So what's your loss? It's not 0% is what you're trying to imply, right? No, I mean, whether you are successful here or not is irrelevant to whether or not you can remove from my exile here. But, okay. I can't exactly necessarily guarantee you something on the basis of our word. But I can at least tell you that, like... Once the deal is made, we're going to do our damn best. That's not nearly good enough. Mm. Personally, I don't know why you're asking me. You are in the Verdant Groves. If you desire a solution, desire it and look around. It'll come to you. Yeah. What exactly was this man's crimes besides caging Gadaris, like becoming exiled here? Is this an evil man? You don't know. All right. Okay. Mm. Who, who betrayed him, Gadaris or him? The apprentice. Uh, and okay. that's the wizard that we had a run in with already, right? Yep. Twice. Yeah. Would... Zuru has all his uh, pink fountain of youth drinks. To make sure... Oh, so he's is he dead? You don't know. But that uh, he has, Suru has about like twenty two dozen um, files of Pepto Bismol that are pretty important to him. I assume Akio is aware of this, right? I don't want to break the meta. Meta. Yes, I believe no, I, I was... he knows about that. Okay. I sit like at knee level and I stare at him in the eyes. We could at least make sure to give you vengeance for how you got exiled here. He waves you away. No? No, I am not interested in such things. But I appreciate the offer. Huh. From what There's, I no... There's no anger in your heart or anything? Nothing that you wish you could really kind of... Ret uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, something with an R. 
have some sense of retribution towards? Not especially. In retrospect, I probably deserve this. But, such as it is, eventually my apprentice will make a nuisance of himself to the point that someone more powerful will slaughter him, and that'll just be what it is. Okay, I'll keep... Read the future or to accelerate that myself to know it will one day happen. Akio stares in, like, disbelief at this. Really? Really? You think... You... So you're just willing to give up and just let yourself be exiled here for all eternity? You have... It's not too bad. I'll be honest. I'm in probably the best place you could be exiled for all eternity. I'm eternally young. I have access to all the reading material I could ever do. The food here is excellent. There's a spa. Out of curiosity, out of curiosity, since I'm not a wizard, I wouldn't really particularly know. I've only been here but, a couple of decades, but maybe I'll get bored eventually, but not yet. Well, that's not really what I meant. That's mm. Exile is not exactly what I tend to think about it. It's the conditions that you're in, but rather the separation from the people that you're going to be separated from. Ah, yeah, screw them. I just... Are you... All right. I I I I guess I I I will just say right now I do suppose I admire your sense of acceptance. You are I'm just going to ask for finality's sake. You are happy with the restriction of where you can go. I'm content with it. And despite the fact that we might have an opportunity to make a deal in which we could undo those restrictions and enable you freedoms that you've possibly forgotten about, but in the coming decades might come from the back of your mind and suddenly strike you as never being able to obtain again, you're more than happy to just stay here. Yes, I think it is what it is. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm done here. Akio like went from like kind of like having a baffled face to kind of like angry. Like as a sailor, he doesn't understand a person who'd be content just staying in one spot. Like it's just it's frustrating him beyond belief. He seems to have noticed this. He seems to also be growing increasingly smug about it. <laughs> I... Also, um, Pal, as this conversation is going on, uh, Pal, Pal leans down to you and whispers into your... This guy gives me a weird vibe. Yep. He's, uh, like, probably just an evil wizard, right? I mean... Like, that's a that base... That's, yeah, that's baseline, yeah, that's... just pretty... Uh... Like, let's hope he's just an evil wizard. Uh, and we can steal a spell book and he won't be able to do anything. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Alright. So, what do you guys do? Mm. You exit out of Mimi's. You now owe. Or a calcum, should you wish to enter again. And into the Pavilion of Size and the grand marketplace that surrounds Mimi's entrance. It occurs to you that, oh, this, that's why. The vendors know that this is where adventure, uh, mortals will tend to congregate. So they can sell. Hey! As soon as you exit, the different vendors begin to hawk their wares to you again. I'll... I got swords here. Swords. Got television sets here from the years from another dimension of New York City. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, there, is, there is actually a vendor that uh, apparently just selling knowledge. <laughs> uh, 
Mmm. Yes. What's the price? Your soul. Ow. Out of curiosity, does it have to be my soul? You can give me a controlling interest in your soul. What what exactly do you do with the souls? Uh, it just basically means when you die, you will be drawn into the verdant groves forever. Right, but what do you get out of it? Me? Uh, a free employee? Another soul into the verdant groves forever. Uh, okay. Models I... might not understand this, but it's sort of what we're all about. I legit wanted. Oh. I legit wanted to say he he could get a free employee out of it. <laughs> no, no, souls are terrible employees. <laughs> uh, what if we can get you? So wispy and weak. All right. Uh, is there anything else that would intrigue you besides a soul? Hmm. What is it that you desire? And we'll or try. Or welcome. Our... Do you now? Do we have that? I will trade you a secret for a ten or a calcum. Oh yeah, the currency. Is it like a good secret though? I will trade you whatever the secret to the answer to whatever you ask. Oh. I'm sorry. Yes. You got fourteen and you've used two, so you have twelve. Oh wow, ten is a lot then. Yeah. Are are we sh Okay, but before before we exchange it, can we specific the like the the wording of the question or we can do it after. I don't know. Make sure you ask it right where he doesn't have any no. Uh, wait, it's is it per everybody's You pay me and I will answer you ask the question and I will answer it. Yeah, one question. We're trading ten for one question. The ratio, like, that's why I'm like, like nobody asks anything immediately after the exchange. Is what I'm saying. Okay. He, his mouth, uh, grins, revealing his demonic fangs as he takes the. Board of Oracalcum, the vast majority of what you have, and secrets it away. This is a rotopore, by the way, floating upon a divan of cushions. What is Oracalcum? What a question. To protect you solely from the charms of the verdant groves, it would take the power of an exceptional individual or outsider. Oh, God damn it. We need the wizard's help. Bloody hell! He ah, he knew. He actually knew we we would come back to him, didn't he? Son of a bitch! I don't want to talk to him again. We can't even make. I'm gonna kiss him so hard. I'll answer another what? question for the cost of a soul. Oh, oh. Let me, let me check. Let, let me check soul. my. Let me check my bag. Turn out your nope. pockets. Any souls? Uh, no, and there are no... Don't you dare. No? I, I, do, I do apologize, but we're, we're, we're quite acquainted with our souls at the moment. And maybe later, when I'm feeling kind of down on a day, and I happen to be in the Vernon Groves, and I'm like, Hey, I'd like to know the secrets of... Uh, What's in that person over there's pocket? So salutations, goodbye. It was nice to meet you. I I gotta go get angry now. Yes, yes. Be gone with you. Uh, w when I'm far away, 
I, I, like, I turn back. You also have a wonderful smile! Thank you. But this is a secret that I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable! I love him! <laughs> Does he want to be in outer heaven? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, you have suddenly gone from having a pretty good amount of work. Welcome to Nun. You have enough to get back into Mimi's. Why did she all spend all the work Alchem? I was going to get a butt. Hey, you kids! What? Remember me from yesterday? That's me. <laughs> I'm a text about Smith. <laughs> Why is that so earnest? <laughs> so you guys think about it? Every waking moment. As much as we'd love to acquire one of your splendid pair of ass, uh, <laughs> we uh, at the moment cannot pursue that particular offer. I'm sorry, friend. Well, you don't got the three out or a calcum? The what? Ah, you got two. What? Yo. We can do a thing, you pay me two, and then you get me back the third, and then they send time limit, or else the butt disappears. That's easy enough. <laughs> Sorry. The butt disappears, or our butt? <laughs> well, it will be your butt at that point. Uh, you don't want that what? to happen, let me just tell you. So. Mm, well, I wouldn't recommend that murdering any of uh, us, uh... Is 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 that not the only way to do it? Uh, no, you want to get or calcum. You're gonna need to hit up the old succubus piggy bank and uh, break it. What? Oh. <laughs> Out of curiosity, <laughs> you, the only you... way to get or calcum is when the outsider turns into it upon dying for ah. a final time on their home plane. Uh -huh. so, you want to uh, go murder a succubus? Most of them are assholes, so honestly, just go at it. I don't care. Well, thank you for the advice, butt salesman. Uh, the thing I... is, most of them are just going to run away as soon as you start attacking them because, you know, we are vulnerable to dying for a final time, and that's kind of a bummer. So, so if you find the place where they're protecting something, and there are places in the Verdant Groves such that that exist like that, they will be more likely to stick around. Also, just generally speaking, I mean, since the Verdant Groves aren't the aren't trying to like immediately kill you every ten seconds, this is a pretty uh, popular place for mortals like you to go or calcum farming. So if you see a couple of mortals who have just been hunting down succubi from time to time, you can probably kill them and take it off them. Am I in an MMO? Yeah. Are we? Are we yeah, in a guy? Yeah. Did he just? Did he just like go collect three? Like three? <laughs> did we? <laughs> I'm so mad that he said farming. <laughs> I mean, what were you call it? Yeah, murder. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you for thank you for the advice, uh, but salesman. Uh, hopefully, on the way when we come back from our uh, farming, we can acquire some ass. So yeah. I like the way you think. Switching the word from but to the other one. Part of my curse is that I cannot say the. Uh, the old donkey name. I. Okay. Yeah. Is that a curse? Yep. Just Fair did. enough. All right. We shall return to acquire some goods. Thank you. Have you. A good one. Eh, love that dude.
I'm gonna think about it like once a week. <laughs> All right, what do you guys do? I I guess we we don't have a um. Kasumi's not with us, right? Oh yeah, yeah I guess I we. Okay, good. Uh, who's? Do we have anything that that like? Do we have like the thing that like? The vessel of Gadaris, so they can't exactly like run away from us. Like, who has the ring? Oh, Cesare. Ah. Oh. Ah. <coughs> uh. The period no longer functions. So there's like, like if you were... wait. So, uh, shit. I guess we. Shit. Shit. I guess I. Uh, we should have asked somebody if they saw Gadaris. He's a popular guy around here, right? Oh. It doesn't mean anything when they live forever. Uh, I can't really like do anything in terms of magic relation. I actually don't talk to Gadaris a lot, so it's not like Aku can be like, Gadaris! Supper time! All oh, right, I guess we could will. Yeah, could we like be like take us to a place in which uh, a succubus is guarding something that they wouldn't run away from, so we can kill them? Does that work? I close my eyes. Do you start walking? I start walking. Okay. I hopefully assume everybody's walking with me. All right, does everyone follow Akio blindly walking? <laughs> Please make sure I don't fall down any potholes. Theater of blood. Theater of blood. I do like... What? I do look... Mm, I do like that mixture. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of home. All right, Akio, blood and honey would be a good name for a ship. Corner. You uh, you smell honey. Do I have to roll to see if I am overcome? You do not. Okay. You open up your eyes and you see that in between two trees in the pavilion. Uh huh. There is a trellis, and leading out through the trellis, beyond it is not the pavilion of size. It is <coughs> a brightly lit uh, plain of many tree copses, and uh, in the distance, little brightly colored structures uh, that appear to be shaped like custards and ice creams. <sighs> Mm, you look nice beyond food. and see what is surely the gardens of plenty. Can we just... Mm -mm. Hey. You are not being tempted by just the smells. Hey, Sales? Yes. Can we... Can we just go, like, if we can resist the, the thing, can we just kind of do a general roll to see how many Orchiacum we farm so we're not just fighting constantly? No. Okay. All right, guys, you ready for combat the next six sessions? Yeah. Love to fight. Well, how about Pascal pipes up? Since it's right there and we're right here, it's not affecting us in here. How about one of us just goes over there and waits? And if it affects them, we pull them out. And if it doesn't, we're safe. I mean, yeah, 
I mean, we're right by a market that sells like everything, so surely we could find something to like do something. Still got to our calcum. That's uh, enough for uh, two succubus burgers. Yeah. Um, I genuinely thought that hmm, there's gonna be a reason why, like, I just somehow stumbled. Is it easy to just stumble into this field? Oh, plenty. If you want to go someplace in the Vernon Groves, you will go there. And it took me here. I take my sword out. All right. I approach the field of plenty. Okay. Um, you enter from beneath the trellis, and you and the lighting changes <coughs> from the moody um, pink torches that illuminate the pavilion to the bright sunny sky of the gardens of plenty. Um, there is no sun, but for some reason everything is illuminated like it's the like it's a beautiful late spring afternoon. Um, where everything is in bloom and it's a nice, comfortable temperature. Mm. You are surrounded by foodstuffs growing from the very trees themselves. To your right, you see the source of the honey. It is a actual uh, honey smell. It is a literal river of the stuff languidly flowing through, uh, past you and off into the distance behind some rocks. Huh. To your left are trees burdened with massive fruits. And even the bark itself looks edible. Oh, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Okay. You not... stand there for a time. It does smell delicious. The smell does make you want to try it, but it does not magically compel you to. Hmm. Hey, guys. I mean, like, I'm kind of... I don't feel like I want to eat anything. That's pretty... Wait. Hmm? Just, just give me a minute just to make sure. <laughs> I mean, it's not like there's like it's not like the trees are made of rum. You don't have to worry about that. It's just I'm not sure why I'm being compelled. It might not apply to you. You look over to your left and you realize that there is a small waterfall and spring made in, uh, that is just flowing with rum. Okay, so the the field's reading my mind. Yeah, we were told it does <laughs> that. Yeah, I'm gonna. So, you know what? Wait, let me test this. Um, by doing what? What do you mean test? Oh, Don't oh. drink it. No, oh. no, no. I'm not gonna drink it. I'm testing the field. I think <laughs> of, I'm gonna think of the craziest combination, and I'm going to come to the definition of what a banana split is, and I see if the field reproduces what is in my head the uh the tree to your left had been growing fruits is now laden with banana splits that's dope are they in glass cups yes <laughs> with spoons on the side wow <laughs> cute okay so i can't exactly promise that you might resist eating them just, you know, don't wish of anything dirty. What? What? I don't know. I, I don't know. Field of Plenty. It's like, what if it's think of like a tree made of chicken legs? <laughs> what? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's pretty dirty, right? Yeah, okay. Um, no sooner do you say that than a literal fried chicken walks up to you. <laughs> 
It she doesn't say that, but it does look delicious. It's not like it does its chicken waddle over to you. Does it take out like a little cane and hat and do a little fucking dance? <laughs> Is it like that one character from Gravity Falls at the end who's like, and, well, in in this case, the character's like, just just what you get inside my mouth, but this <laughs> thing, but please please put me in your mouth. It uh, it does not have a head to speak with. Well, yeah, it doesn't have to have a head. It can just kind of like just talks work. out the neck hole. Yeah. All right, we cartoon. Okay, can we get this done with so that I don't like not like chicken anymore? Yeah, this all is right. Hor- put it in, put, <laughs> put it in your mouth. Because this is horrifying. All right, little fried chicken, go, go away. I shoo it. Does it run away? Please tell no, me. No, it, it is butt up against you. It is being a constant source of, like, it, it wants you to eat it. That's oh, awful. I'm it not a trying fan. to climb up you, actually. Oh, no. It cannot wait. fly because it has no feathers. <laughs> That's good. And also wait. it's chicken. Wait one second. Can I, can, I, can I please quickly do something? Wait one second. Give me one second. Please let me actually. Okay. Oh, whatever. I was gonna play Shadow of the Colossus music as it starts climbing. <coughs> da, 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 da. Oh. All right, let's keep going. I I can't. Do it. All right, the rest of you enter into the gardens of plenty, and they are gardens of plenty. It's beautiful here. This is the most, int- like, the, the, the mirrored halls were strange and almost sinister. The pavilion of size were dark and moody. This place is beautiful, and it's lovely, and everything is made out of food, and it smells so good here. Fight the urge. Just think, you could have it, like, authentic, rather than from your mind. Oh, it is authentic. Oh, damn it. That's bad. Oh, you hear that? The Field of Plenty is pouring a glass. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) That's that's what the waterfall sounds like. (laughs) Yes, as you you lean, uh, lean on a rock to catch your breath, you see a... The, the the that at your fingertips is just a glass filled with iced tea. It's great. <sighs> Don't drink it, you'll die. So you begin to travel. And currently your travel can do not without so much a destination in mind. Where do you seek? What do you seek in these groves? Is it just a way to protect yourselves? Okay. Well then. I wanted to find someone to kill. You continue to try. You begin traveling. And you are allowed to explore. You explore this little winding road through the gardens of plenty. You pass by, by a gazebo that is made entirely out of like candy canes and licorice. Who's got and, the sweet tooth? <clears throat> um, Pascal pulls at his collar uh, <laughs> nervously. Hmm. Looks over to his left, sees a tree growing nothing but cannolis, and whispers, I hate this place. (laughs) Um, You hear riotous laughter. Evil, vicious laughter from off to your right. It looks... There are trees. 
the trees are not laughing at you, but the laughter is coming from somewhere beyond them. And unfortunately, they currently obstruct your vision. <laughs> it doesn't quite work like that. <laughs> yeah, the one closest to you just, oh, excuse me, and like tries to shuffle over, but it has roots, so it can't. I don't mind. I'm, I'm sorry. Is that just... Sorry, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> oh. Uh, do you investigate? Yeah. Yeah, I wish that could happen as we all die. All right. You begin pushing into the tree line, making your way around the various... Uh, edible flora, an occasional fauna. Um, and eventually you come to this little clearing uh, where you see a pair of little motes of ash. Like, just floating around? Yes. Oh. Uh, about basketball-sized clouds of ash oh. um, that are currently floating in midair. And they are laughing at something. And what they're laughing at is uh, kind of obscured. And as soon as you enter into the tree line, um, the ashes turn to appraise you. You think they don't have faces, but you can feel their attentions turn upon you and immediately just float away, just scatter um, into the trees. And beyond them, you can see a stump. And upon this stump is a platter. Okay. And upon this platter, Eternally leaking a uh, golden metallic liquid from its base is a head. Okay. Oh. The head is an aneban's head, only oh. large. Okay. About twice the size of a normal aneban. Um, and yeah, it's just sort of like sitting there on a stump of neck. Ah! Yeah. I hated that, sorry. Leak leaking gold? Yeah, it appears to be, well, it's been decapitated and it appears to be bleeding yeah. out through its uh, base and overflowing that and just sort of dribbling over. <laughs> That's so chill. Hey, what's up, decapitated head? How's it going? The You're just so used to this song. Eyes of the platinum skinned and even flash open Ruby. Whoa, he's got platinum skin? He has platinum skin. Oh what the fuck? Burying the lead. Sorry, maybe I should have mentioned that <laughs> in the same sentence as it was twice the size of a regular and even head. Yeah. Um Flash open, revealing depthless pools of gold, and its attention turns towards you and goes, Be not afraid, for I shall not, and indeed cannot, harm you. I wouldn't say that. Why, why are you just ahead, though? Come closer, mortals, and I shall share with you a tale. Uh, oh. Of, or stay over there. And I'm going to uh, inside check this weird head. Sense motive. Okay, I'm kind of afraid that, like, what if he's going to be like, get him a big mouth? <laughs> right, you it's get, a big head. You know, oh, bad man. vibes from this head. I get, no, what? Bad vibes from oh. this head. Oh, 
Only oh. good vibes from this decapitated head. Okay. Well, besides the fact that it's a decapitated head. <laughs> Other than that, he seems like a reasonable enough dude. Okay. Are, are, are you like an uh, angel of a ten cat or something? What, why are you all like this? Yeah, you're all magic looking and shiny. You big. It's a weird punishment. <laughs> Deceptions do not fail you. My name is Amon Tha. And I. Yeah. I forgot the name of the type of uh, thing he is. And I am, uh, hold on. Sorry, gone through some trauma recently, if you haven't noticed. And uh... <laughs> yeah. they don't. <laughs> I am Amuntha, Uktiel of Atan Ket. Uktiel. Many moons ago. A band of mortals not unlike yourself came to the verdant groves to seek out the ambrosia of Polonius to use for most noble ends, seeking refuge from the awful temptations here. They reached out, and in the darkness, I responded. Their quest was successful. Oh, their friend's illness was cured. But upon their leaving, I discovered that I was not so able to go. Polonius had turned his attention towards me and with his baleful gaze, he bound me here tore my form asunder and left me to be tortured by Tantalus, his bloated minion. Now my body lies stricken throughout this realm, carved open to serve as meats for the prince's slavering maw. Except for me, my head. I get to just sit here. Is this I don't a think those exist you... anymore. Hmm? Do those, would those still exist? They ate those body parts, right? As you may note from the constant dribble of blood, I regenerate very rapidly. I don't know. You are willing to undertake this quest, which will be perilous. For Tantalus, Tantalus guards his morsels jealously. You will, from me, earn a great boon. I shall protect you in the same manner, though perhaps more subtly than last time. It would very much suck, yes. I have been this way for 20 years. It is not comfortable. No, I feel everything that they do to the rest of my body, and it oh. is not the best, let me tell you. I imagine awful. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Well, it's a little hard to tell, but I think my arms and legs have been severed from my torso. <coughs> no, no, no. That would be that would not serve their purposes. No, no. I can sense that those are at least together, but you know, distant. I believe I can sense where they might be in relationship to me, or my head, rather. Uh, 
torture. I am left here to be the plaything for Atchards, who come and mock me daily, and I am unable to mock them back, for I am bound not to mock another. What if you just said true but hurtful things about them? That would still be outside the spirit of my nature. Mm. What if it was in the hopes that they would improve themselves? Mm. There are typically better ways of going about that. But mm. I can sense them, yes. What? This head is twice the size of a normal person's head. So it's carryable. Um, it's not light. This a kind of... neck looks like it was thicker than his actual skull. So it's actually a substantial amount of weight that you that you would be carrying, and you would not be able to fight with it uh, very easily. Yeah, but nobody should deserve like this. This is mean. Yeah. I can fucking carry the shit out of this head. <laughs> Why are you so into carrying this head? That was This so is like a direct service to Atan Ket, are you kidding? Yeah. Freak right. out. Yeah, You're... we're good. Your consideration is greatly appreciated, and yes, I will be better able to direct you if I'm actually with you. Yeah, this is bullshit. Right. Uh, Pascal slings his tower shield onto his back, um, and he goes over and he grabs the handles of the platter and sort of hefts it up. Could you um? Could you turn me around? I'm I'm facing directly into you. And... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you. Yes. Though I am dependent on another, I am mobile again. Even this is a small victory. <laughs> uh, just to have a different perspective for once what in it? 20 years. Do I have I like a... know what those trees look like. Out of character, what if Pascal carried him on, like wore his head on his head? Oh... That would be rude and also messy. But all yuck. But also funny. And a little bit metal. No. It it would not fit on Pascal's he's got, head. He's got thing. brains and stuff in there, right? It's it's much larger than Pascal's head, so like. Yeah, it would be like a, ma a mascot head, but set on top of Pascal's head, because there's no way for his head to fit up in there. Um, so it, would, it, 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 I don't think it would work. Don't do it, Pascal. Hmm. His eyes flick. To his left. Turn me that way, please. Thank you. Do forward. I sense one of my arms. Let's get this arm. I I I like this I like this guy. It is the right arm. Oh. Uh... Yeah, shouldn't we get like your torso first? Mm. Make it sort of attach? Perhaps. Mm. But I believe the torso may have been may have been left where they first dismembered me. Uh... And that is well guarded. 
Um, no, it is a cookhouse. Oh. And butchery. Mm. For the prince's meals. Oh boy, don't, don't, please don't attach the wrong thing to me. As far as I know, this is a relatively rare occasion, and I was grabbed by Polonius specifically because of my high rank in the Cosmic Order. It would be greatly appreciated, but I know that you are up to the task. You can do this. Believe in yourself. For I believe in you. I always wanted an arm. Well, unfortunately, you can't have this one. Except for briefly while you carry it. What if Pascal puts all the pieces on, like some kind of powerful? Flesh? What if we, what if we put it on the head without getting the torso? Um, so he looks, so he looks like Modok. Please don't do that. I, I would grow cross with you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get a picture of Modok. You do not need to link a picture of Modoc. I am aware of what Modoc looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Such that we know to avoid it. Do not turn me into Modoc. Okay. I don't want you to have a permanent scowl. I'd rather be ahead. <laughs> All right. You begin walking through the forest. Again, it takes some time, maybe a half an hour's journey of walking through just like undergrowth and you're off a trail just following his direction. Occasionally you have to reorient yourself um, after like going around a particularly large tree or rock just to make sure you're going in the right direction. But his, uh, his self radar is fairly acute and he keeps you on the right path. Eventually, you come to another clearing and you see a small table and uh, with some knives on it and a bunch of platinum meats stacked neatly, an arago, two aragos actually, are currently carving such from a massive arm that hangs from a hook attached to a tree, a tree branch that overhangs the table. There is my arm. The two uh, Arago whirl towards you. They are wearing chef's hats and aprons. <laughs> wow. You dare to interfere with the... Oh, God. The Prince of Pleasure's foodstuffs. They... It's true. They twirl their knives. Then you shall become such. And they attack. Please roll first. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, I God. didn't set up a uh, Gardens of Plenty uh, background. Oh, did I? I don't. I just rolled it out. Ooh! I, I never roll well on initiative. That's crazy. I finally roll well on initiative, and Powell's like, Haha, watch this. Oh. Coin stuffs. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, oh boy. Was... <laughs> I'm mad. All right. All right. Hold on. Just give me one moment. 
I, I, I apologize. I fucked up on prep slightly. I'm not doing this before. What? No. I saw the future. The fu future's all uh, tacos. That's how you fund the kingdom. File is uploading. Da -da -da. Nobody has uh, selected Pogs. Well, you can't. So, yep. So that's fine. Woohoo! What, what was that noise? That was Don't a worry. doggy. It's my my son. Oh, I. I know it. just... Oh wow! Tiny yeah. werewolf. Objective of every son. Amy and him are making dinner right now. That must be a fun dinner. No, they're in there singing. <laughs> Cute. That must be a fun dinner. <laughs> I think it's uh, Steven Universe music. Ah, oh, sick! Hell yeah! High fives. <laughs> My name is Steven. That's it. That's the one. I'm from a universe. Oh yeah, that's the one. Sending um, me back right there. Oh, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to be your friend whether you... Look <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> at this Candyland bullshit. <laughs> I'm so horrified at the concept of, like, a, ch a fried and sentient chicken walking around destroying the aesthetic. Oh yeah. Just, just please, please put me inside your mouth. <laughs> I desire it. It's a make me happy. It's a fun game we play. <laughs> Eat me. Eat me. Eat me. Eat me. <laughs> yeah. Feed me. I feel, I feel, I feel like ah, it is impossible ah, to get water because I'm staring at that well and it's like, oh my god. Are those licorice all sorts that it's made out of? I want those. Oh, I want those. Those, okay, like, we, those like we, clear ones with like little candy beads. Ooh. Rita, you would die. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't wait for Valentine's. I'm going to eat so much dumb candy. Oh my god. Uh, I just noticed the marshmallow fields in the back. Oh, I like the clouds the best, the meringues. <gasps> oh, they are meringues! I, I, yeah. I was horrified by the clouds being meringues, and there's no clouds, and it's like, what if you get closer? God, I love <laughs> meringues. Holy shit. I want candy, like... you guys. <laughs> I actually got a box of chocolates right here. Oh man. What? Uh, but here's the thing, pre uh, here's the thing, Rita. These uh -huh. are Hershey's chocolates, so they might as well. Oh, are they kisses? Be... Uh, no, unfortunately Aww. not. They're uh, caramel. I'm I'm visiting friends in Ottawa again for Valentine's weekend, and my friend has got some weed Hershey <laughs> kisses, and we're gonna drink wine and eat weed weed chocolate. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I will say right now. Yeah. I did not expect those words to come out of your mouth. Yeah. I did not take you as a partaker. Occasionally. Make sure you wash, please. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, like, ever since we became, became legal here, it smells. It smells so bad. I mean, they're just they're chocolate. It's fine. I don't know if it'll have the weed smell on it, but please make sure you wash your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> have fun. Sure you brush your teeth. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah, just make sure. I'm gonna drink if, wine, get high, smooch a friend. If smooch a friend, I s fuck, dude. Is it out? Oh shit! 
No, uh, we probably we probably won't. We'll be busy. Akio, wants... did you roll initiative? I did, but I I didn't I couldn't select my character, so I think it was um fifteen. Ah, uh, is that fifteen point six? Yeah, I. Why'd you roll so... manually? Uh, because the map wasn't up yet. All right. Sorry, should have waited. Can we actually like roll without selecting our pogs now? Because I saw Rita. I've always roll. been able to. It's just I hate it. Yeah. That's. Hmm. Which, really, would be, you know, fair cop. I didn't have it set up right now uh, at this time. <sighs> yeah. Um, Rita wants to. Rita wants to make sure that when she sees the Sonic movie, that she's not high. Oh man, that's so kind of fun, huh? <sighs> Is it a? Are you allowed to be in a theater? Well, like in a in a state where or a I country mean, where it's legal? Are you like allowed to like have like popcorn with like weed at the bottom and like? <laughs> well, nobody has to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I always, sorry. Can I ask one thing? Because I don't do this. Just, just yeah. sorry. Okay. What's stopping somebody from like putting alcohol in like a fake bottle? You can. Okay. If you get away with it, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I I just figured like like I I've, I I'm like are people around me just secretly drinking? Oh, <laughs> probably just, yeah. All the time. Okay. All right. Oh no. <laughs> That's right, pretty sorry. funny actually. Um okay. <laughs> Paulina. Yep. It's your turn first. Can I uh fly and kick one of these guys? You can. You are within the distance to fly and kick one of them. Which As is like fifty feet now or something knives. crazy. Sweet, yes. uh Flurry Blow is one of these guys. Flurry away. Get your knives away from that angel's limb. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Where's the button? Where's the... Oh, there's, there's my button. There we go. Whoop. Hey. Hey. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, I'll just let you know that uh-huh. Mirago has an AC of 18. Okay. Um, so, those all hit. You do the the punchy damage. Uh huh. The jabby damage. Uh, oh goodness. Three, right? One, one, two. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. So uh-huh. they do have damage reduction of ten, uh-huh. which does apply. Yeah, that's fair. Even though I'm magic and silver and lawful and... You would need to be good. I'm not good. Well, you are I mean, good. I am, but my fists aren't. Yes. That's kind of... <laughs> I might be good, but my fists aren't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good... Like if only Pa was more charismatic. Maybe she could have pulled that off. <laughs> I'm about to beat you with these lethal weapons. All right, pal, <laughs> you flying kick over to one of the Irago. Um, you connect right with its jaw and just spin its head around. It and then unleash a flurry of knees and elbows and all your various um, bludgeoning bits. And uh, by the end of it, it sits there for a second, and then it just collapses into mud. Oh. That okay. quickly begins to congeal into pieces of orichalcum. Oh. The other Arago looks at this and goes, holy shit! Yeah, that's right. Well, I, uh, I have dollar signs in my eyes. And murder in my heart. Mino is next. Mino is going to charge, issuing a battle cry, into this 
succubus and uh, lay damage to it. Go, yeah. <laughs> Take that. The succubus takes that. It doesn't seem very angry about it, actually. Excuse me. Suru's turn. Suru will rage. And will charge. And will use her full attack because she has pounce. Well... She crit on the third attack. Not that it was necessary because the first two attacks killed it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank God for Suru. So Suru just runs up, does an upward swing, causing the Irago to like confusedly flip up into the air, and then brings it down upon the middle of their body and just cleaves it in half, and it falls into the ground in a heap that sizzles away into nothing except for a few pieces of orichalcum. The arm sits before you. They each turn into they turned into ten. Okay. Yeah, you got some good or calcum rolls. All right. Um, even mostly carved away, uh, Sada, this arm probably weighs more than <clears throat> you do. Um, it's a huge arm. Like it's it's the length of it is about your height. Oh, it's and proportional. It's I... a really big arm. Do you think he'd have a big head and then like a normal body? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to tell you this. <laughs> But, He's in big head mode. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not traveling around constantly in DK mode. Okay. I, I, for whatever reason, missed the detail and actually legit thought he was in big head mode. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, um, I hope it you safe? don't have anything good in your bag of holding as... Uh, what do you mean? Oh, ew. His arm is a mess. Like, most of the, there, there's barely any skin on it. Most Aww. of the flesh has been carved away. So, actually, on the bright side, it's lighter. Um, <laughs> but it's, also just, it's just a bloody mess. <laughs> it's like slowly regenerating. Yes, I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm an optimist. What can I say? <laughs> if you're done laughing, would you kindly collect my arm? <laughs> Maybe Sura could just carry it for now. Oh, my God. Suru rolls her oh. eyes. Oh. Oh, takes cool. the gross, gross arm. Thank you. Swings it over her Sorry. shoulder. Oh my god. <laughs> Your service is greatly appreciated. Yeah, whatever. First time I have laid eyes on my arm in decades. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. What? I'm I'm doing an impersonation of Suru. I don't know. I mean, is that what prophets say? I don't know about. Well, maybe. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it because I want to. All right, that is something that the uh, prophets say. Um, I'm back. All right, welcome back. You missed it. Um, Suru and Paulina. Turned the two uh, succubi into orichalcum very quickly. I see that. Okay. 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Yes. I believe my other arm is closest. Please. Um, to your right, uh, turn about 45 degrees. Okay, a little more. No, that's too much. Okay, good. Forward. And Pascal begins marching with his head. Um, while Suru is now cover carrying a golden blood bleeding arm over her shoulder, occasionally shifting it as the weight grows uncomfortable. And uh, you begin marching down through the forest over hills, occasionally accosted by another fried chicken. Actually, at this point, Akio, you've gotten a little bit of a flock after you. There's about six of the things <laughs> trying to like bump into you and go, eat me. <laughs> eat me. Eat me. Please leave me alone. Please. I can't I'm grant me. you this wish. I'm so good. Eat me. You oh my don't god. don't understand. I don't understand what. It's Every really... waking moment is torture for us. <laughs> Look at our skin, it's so crispy. <laughs> do you, uh, do you know, know what it feels like to have crispy skin? Don't you want a bite of this? I so know. crispy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have 12 secrets. Sinful bites. chicken! You know how all dogs go to heaven? Well, all the chickens <laughs> go to here. Alright. Tell me, tell me what happens if I eat you. You'll go. You'll you'll love it. It'll be so good. Uh, Akio, why are you talking to those chickens? They're not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> the thirteen Akio. spices are speaking to me. They they know. <laughs> they they un they know you need to kill them. Are you still high? Oh, you're. <laughs> I thought you were consuming. No. <laughs> I thought you were still high as fuck. My my voice is. I mean, yes, but my no. Voice is <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Um, I love the so idea that this finally, is Finally, you actually reach, you see the next limb. You find another arm. Reach into a small clearing. This arm it doesn't have like a carving spot. Okay. Rather, it just, it, uh, a little. Um, at the rate it's regenerating, you suspect that it's probably carved every day and then left over for like a 12 hour period or for the rest of the day just to regenerate and um, then you can do it again the next day after another 20 hours. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's not like immediate, but it is regrowing. Um, and if it's anything like that other arm, uh, you're gonna want to get it attached to its torso pretty soon. Because the other arm um, is entirely intact. It is safe where a single knife is currently, well, not a single, one, five knives are currently pressed into its five fingers, well, four yeah. fingers and thumb, uh, as it hangs over a rocky promontory. The rivulets of blood are allowed to drip down the knives, down through uh, uh, fissures in the stone where they are being collected drop by drop by drop into For some... five cups. Ah, yes. So that's what they're doing. That hurts what? so much. Please get my arm. Yeah. Well, you have two. You don't see any enemies. Um. Oh boy, good for you. Um. All right, Sada. You don't see any enemies. However, 
in the rock face itself, you can see almost matching the occasional fissures. You can see carved into it are arcane glyphs. Not being a wizard or sorcerer or someone trained in the arcane arts, you do not know about them. But you can tell that there is danger there, presumably. Um, they're not glowy. They are just sort of like there. They're quite subtle, actually. Um, the the arm might weigh as much as Pascal does. Holy! It's really big. It's my nature. <laughs> Not a single thing, sir. You know, one of these days, one of you is going to think, hmm, maybe I should hire somebody that, like, uh, ah. a fourth level wizard that can just at least try to ah. roll knowledge at Arcana. That'd be so smart. I'm going to roll a wrestler. I'm going to also hire a wrestler. And, wait. You know what? Ooh. I. Ah. Cast a spell. Yeah, I cast punch. Yeah. So, how would you like to approach this? All right, there we go. They are upon the stone which the arm is currently on. The stone, I should note, is about 16 feet tall, and the arm is set into its pinnacle. Oh, sorry, I forgot the mute. No, the arm is sort of just like sat into a depression. And the ar uh, the knives are stabbing up into its fingers. Ugh. That sucks. Metal. I mean, yeah. I'm afraid not. I know much and more about the workings of the universe. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, hold on, I don't have my glasses. The head? No, that was so a joke. I do not wear glasses. Oh. My vision is perfect. Oh. Of course. Um, actually, I do not have knowledge or kind of, so no, I do not know. Oh, boy. We're fucked. What are we going to do? You, th you pick up a rock, candy. Piece of candy. And you throw it off, and it uh, it sort of like cracks and breaks and falls off. No. If I know I... the realm of the Tempter, though, it is likely compulsion. I don't know. I can go, I can go check it out. Pretty tough. I didn't touch the mirrors at all. And that was pretty good. So oh, I just don't want to die suddenly. Shitty place. That'd be a bummer. Yeah. Be careful, pal. Can I go take pow. a take a peek? Hello. Yep. Worshipper of Aten Ket. Yeah. I hi. Instant in you. Oh yeah. Thank you. Um. Be safe. Out. I'll do my best. Uh, and, I think uh, Pow, yeah. you feel a uh -oh. um, sort of like a a fortifying burst of energy within your mind. Oh. Huh. You uh, will gain a plus four bonus against your next will save. Okay. Cool. 
All right, I'm gonna go take a peek at this thing. Can, can I get? Can I get? Well, I guess I saw it already. Mm. Excuse me. Do I? Do I see anything? There are no holds to climb, no oh. stairs up. Remember, yeah. these are this is probably tended by. Well, I could just people. walk up walls. That's true. So it won't be any obstacle to you. Yeah. Um, you do see the same glyph that Sada spied, having po- that, has she pointed them out. Yep. Um, you can see the way they're spaced. Oh. Perhaps you can thread a way between them and just like try to keep the. I would love to not touch the glyphs if that's possible. <laughs> yeah. Make me uh-huh. an acrobatics check. Oh, well, actually, yeah. How are, how are you approaching this? Are you going to just try and run up the wall? Can I just slowly walk up the wall? I mean, you could do that too. Um, Dang. Daintily walk up the yeah. Acrobatics. Pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah. That is good enough, actually. Oh, okay. To, yeah, you uh, very carefully just sort of go doot, 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 um, up the wall, avoiding the blood, avoiding the glyphs. Um, at the apex, one seems to start to glow, but you are darting away from it before nope. it even, before it can fully activate and it uh, dims back. And uh, yeah, you are now standing next to a massive arm. Yep, didn't think too far ahead on this one. Um, you can see that the uh, blood from the shoulder is also running down a, another channel, sort of running down all the rock and pooling in the dirt below. Uh-huh. Seems wasteful. What's wasteful? Uh, they're just like they're just letting your arm bleed out the stump. Oh, well, yeah. the finger blood tastes better. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to joke. I'm sorry. I no, I'm sure that's true they for these weirdos. I, they probably think that. Love finger really blood. Much more. Could you at oh. least remove the knives in the meantime? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try to lift the, the fingies off the knives. Okay, um, that you can do without too much effort. Uh, they are big fingers, but they're also dead. So boop, 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 boop. yeah, you're able to sound of removing them. the fingers. That is the sound of removing the fingers, and Good. as you do so, you see that they seal the wounds at their tips seal up. Nice. Oh, that is a relief. But, like, the, the stump still hurts, right? Oh, you have no idea. Oh, okay. But at this point, everything you can get, uh, anything I can get, I can ta- I take that, right now. That is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Honestly, All right, but I, I have no idea how I'm going to move this arm, is the thing. Like roll it off. Oh, we. <coughs> A little bit messy. I mean, the arm is constantly bleeding. <laughs> um. It just it would just seep and seep and seep. I think. You also have the issue that the bag of holding, while it, is, it does have a massive space within it, you have to fit it through the actual aperture of the oh, that word again, uh, aperture of the bag itself. Right. Uh, this arm is bigger around than the bag. And I have a I have a potion of levitation, but too bad you can't feed a potion to an arm. <laughs> mm. uh? No, I don't believe so. You no. I'll just try to roll the arm, I guess. Make a strength check. Oh. Hey. Oh, 
A natural 18. It is a natural 18. Pal, you study the arm. You go, okay, it bends this way. So I can sort of like do this with the upper arm. And that's pretty freaking heavy, but at least you have better leverage now. And then you put your shoulder and with all your might, you push against the wall, the lip of the depression that it was sitting in. And mm -hmm. with a final heave of effort, it uh, rolls free and begins rolling down the side of the rock and hits the ground with a heavy thump. Sorry. No, no. Believe me, everything else is worse. Okay. I noticed. Um, Paulina, make another acrobatics check. Yeah, I would like to jump away from this place. Well, actually, that's the thing. As you're pushing it, you're uh, at risk of losing your balance. Uh-oh. This is a lot of effort for you. I and... think I'll be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you will be, too. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Famous fine. last words. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance um, to say it. You do not slide. You do not slip or slide. Even the blood slicked a depression in the rock. And yeah, um, after that, you just need to make one more acrobatics check to get down, or you could just try jumping off. Um, but still, acrobatics would be the roll. Uh, what? Don't Ew. fall. I might fall a little bit. I said don't fall. You go to leap off and land, and your foot slips in mm -hmm. the blood. I should have flown. Fuck! <laughs> and you take a tumble. I mean, nobody, nobody wakes Roll up. down the hill. And Do I hit every glyph on the way down, or what? As you do so, you hear... <laughs> Ooh, 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 another one. Ooh. And you another hit the one. ground. Ow. Are you okay? I need you to make a will save. I don't know yet. <laughs> All right. But I've got a bonus. So I mean, here we go. You... Hell yeah. Oh, wow. Can you feel your legs? Is that including the bonus? No, the one that you just gave me? No. Oh, so that's a 31. And plus three morale bonus on those against arm and fear. Okay. I don't know what that is. What is happening? What's that? Uh, yeah, a bunch what of mind-affecting glyphs just went off in your face. And, yeah. like, your vision is... You're, you're, you had to blink a few times to get the spots out of your eyes, but when it clears, you're fine. <sighs> okay. Good roll. That was no problem. No problem at all. Everything went exactly as I had planned. Yes. You said from your position yeah. lying face, on top of face the down. arm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably take the heavier arm, and then someone just needs to take the lighter arm. Suru hands the lighter arm off to Mino, who goes, oh boy, and goes over, hefts up the bigger arm, slings it over his, her back. Okay, let's go. All right, right back. Mino. Use that as a, uh, as a new Yari, Mino. She she tries to hold it in Yari position. It's like slip and and yeah, it's it's not holding like a, a spear position. Its wrist is just sort of limply flopping. Man, but using a eternally bleeding metallic angel arm as a weapon sounds so cool. Yes, well, ah. but, but y'all are against bone ship, uh huh? I see. Bone ship is evil. This is just. Dope, yeah. I no, I I see you. This see is just you. gothic as hell. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What is a bone ship? 
<laughs> we have. Care. It was a ship made out of bones. Oh well, that's very descriptive then. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. This reminds me of a story. And so you begin traveling off as he directs you to <laughs> where his next limb is, which is his left leg. And No, I cannot move my limbs. Unfortunately, else I would have murdered those who were carving from them. Anyway, as I was saying, and he goes into a story uh, about a great cosmic battle in the, th- in the ethereal, uh, not the ethereal, the um, uh, in the, uh, the 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 astral sea um, between the forces of Atenket and the forces of Dask over some rock or another. And finally, you reach the next plane. It had the an ancient tower from some ancient ancient civilization pre Logos um, that was needed for one of them. They presumed, and or at least Dask wanted it, and Atenket did not wanted her not to have it. And so, as I stood victorious over the general of the devil's forces, I said to her. Fire her? I don't even know her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sober again. And who and then I plunged my axe such a into her chest and destroyed her forevermore. Oh yeah. That's righteous. She was kind of a jerk. Oh, there's my leg. Um... <laughs> I like this guy. I really like him. The leg is visible as a foot. What? Yeah, yeah, that's how... Oh, that's what you meant. The foot is sticking out of a stone vat. The vat is filled with a yellow-colored liquid. Uh-huh. And judging by the smell... You sense that the leg is being fermented. Okay. I like this. They're making foot wine. The foot is being is suspended by a chain hooked up to a uh, pulley system that can lift it out for when the entire leg out for when they need to procure what it is. Currently flavoring. Ah. Then make a foot wine. This is definitely creative. I don't even know. How do you. What, is, what, is, what do you even feel right now? Well, my leg's wet and the stump of it really hurts. All right. Not, well, the stump, the, the space between. My hip and my leg feels like it's constantly on fire and being stabbed. Oh. Because it's been amputated. What's around here is currently there is a Irago. There is one Irago who has, uh, again, an apron on, nothing else, just an apron. Um, nice. Sitting on a chair, holding a book of, well, you don't know what the book is of, but holding a book and just paging through the pages idly, she or they have a pair of bright pink horn rimmed glasses. Um, and uh, as you enter into clearing you, uh, she licks her um, finger and turns the page. Even when no one's watching, she acts lascivious. <laughs> well, that's my leg. What? Oh. Hey. What are you doing here? 
You need that leg. What leg? This leg? She points to her leg. That leg? You can't have that leg. That's Tantalus' leg. Like... What? No, that's not how it works, moral. What? You bought the leg? Yeah. Uh. Please do. We bought the leg. Why buy the leg when you can get the... Uh... <laughs> oh, uh... right. I guess we are going to have to get a butt. It all, if uh, I would ever need to procure such a, any body part from one of these succubus salesmen. I don't know, man. From what he says, it's pretty glorious. There is no way to improve upon what sh that which is already perfect. Well, wait, isn't that like the whole point of a 10 cat is there's always room for improvement? Uh, no, I think this yes. is the... the uh, what? I... Yes, unfortunately, I, or rather, I am created as an ideal to aspire to. All, uh, un all, uh, unata are. But there is always room for improvement. Yeah, even, even ideals have, you know, more mountains to climb. It's true. But my ass is perfect. <laughs> um... So, mountains to climb. My stairmaster is literally a mountain. Uh, all right. What is his her sense motive? This is her sense motive. Oh, oh. Uh, well, you bought the leg. I guess he's got another leg. Okay, you bought the leg, you bought the leg. I'm not going to... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you didn't... You might have bought the leg, you didn't buy me gift wrapping. If... Uh... I look... I, I guess I... Boy, you thought the arms were big. Guys, Gams are crazy. It occurs to you that legs are generally larger. One thing, they're longer and just generally more substantial. You never give it much thought until you had to collect them. Yeah, this leg is no exception. The only exception is just how developed this leg is. Oh, I don't like that. It's ridiculously massive. You will have an issue carrying this with two people. I guess that sentence could have gone somewhere worse, like... I don't know. Luckily, it is just a leg. It does not include the butt. What? It just stops short at, like, the thigh? Yeah, it's just it's disconnected at the hip. Oh. Man, I wanted to see what, like, like what teaser is coming up. Oh, well. Now we got to wait. Oh, yeah. I'm beginning to dislike the direction this conversation is taking. Well, it has a winch. Um, which you're able to use fairly easily. It's, uh... The only thing not made of food here, it seems, is made of iron. And as you pull, the leg reveals itself. It is, uh, it's pretty pickled leg. Although you can see that it is even now that it is, uh, now that it's free of the vat, um, it appear its normal color is beginning to come through the beautiful, uh, lustrous platinum, as opposed to the sort of. Uh, sickish yellow that had creeped in. 
um, as it was being pickled. Uh, and yeah, you there is a boom which you are able to swing the leg over uh, and then drop it onto the ground. And you now have one big ass leg. No. It's also still chained up. Well, it appears to be locked. There's a manacle around the foot. You bought the leg. Are you saying he, he sold you the leg and didn't give you the key? Eh, must have slipped his mind, maybe. Oh, you got it? Good. Uh, you do open the manacle. Uh, roll bluff again, though. Yeah, you're good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. She goes back to reading whatever it is she's reading. You now have a leg. Um. Hum. I mean, I. How can you carry the head? Because I can probably carry the leg. Maybe I'm not that strong. Isn't Ak is Akio stronger than me? Or no, maybe we're at the same. No, Akio uh, is quite strong actually. Oh, okay. He just hasn't been volunteering. Okay, uh, I. Well, you know what? If you're gonna put it like that, I volunteer to carry this entire leg. I'm just real weak. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's not that the head isn't that heavy, but it's pretty big. It is pretty big. You got a big yeah. head. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm beginning to I'm beginning to feel self-conscious about the size of my cranium. Hey, hey, hey! It is true. I am extremely large. You are cool. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to carry your leg now. You are doing me a service, Akio. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And he winks at you. Why? I wink back? I have no way of expressing uh, gestures except that which I can do with my face. So i trying to signal oh. approval. But oh. Sorry, it's just... I can't give you a thumbs up right now, as my thumb's over there. Sorry, it's just, I assumed you were flirting with me for a second. I'm like, this is not the appropriate time for this. No, I would agree. Yeah, all right. He's not able to control his, like, limbs separately, right? Like... Sadly, no, as he oh. has explained. Until he is reconnected. God, imagine... Table. Imagine if, like, like who, who's carrying one of the arms right now? Suru could be like, and then it comes a giant fist! <laughs> oh. oh well. In my dreams, I see those curling fingers. Alright, let's keep going. Yes, that way. That No, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have... <coughs> totally the opposite. Yes, thank you. That way. And you're excuse off. Me. Excuse me. I'll be like in and out of my like, cleaning up my place. It's full of you dust. You stroll. Now rather burdened by some oversized limbs. Um, Akio, this this thing is freaking heavy. You know, I actually imagined him, like, on the... Uh, no, oh, yeah. But I think I like that better. <laughs> yeah, it's more fucked up that way. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Um...
Okay, so yes, you begin strolling. This time, it's actually about an hour of travel like this. And Akio and Suru and Mino are, you know, Suru is actually pretty okay. Akio and Mino, Akio is carrying the heaviest thing, and Mino is not as strong as the other three. They're well, beginning to strain under weight that they're being asked to sh literally shoulder. <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh, um, oh my god. Going underneath, like, the... Well, who do you want to help, Mino or Akio? Help me! Uh, probably Akio. He's carrying something that's from the armor. Like... Um, Shunichi goes over with you, Sada. Get underneath the front of the leg, such that Akio is really only uh, shouldering the thigh, and you guys have sort of like the foot. <laughs> shouldering the thigh. <laughs> the phrase shouldering the thigh is very fun. Ooh, it kind of is. Um, I'm going to chuckle. Uh, Akio, this helps a lot. Um... I can breathe! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nino uh, 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 goes up to you, Kasumi, and asks, uh, General, would you mind just grabbing the I wrist? Mean, I... <laughs> I can try. You can't promise it's going to go well. I'll be right back. Yeah, Kasumi, you're not that strong, right? Um, but still. wait, what if me and my water clone work together? Unfortunately, the water clone won't really last wait, long enough to be effective. Wait, do you have like why don't you just make it so that like the, the path we're taking is kind of slippery and we can just slide it along? You know, well, we could like tie some rope to them and just pull them along on there like is... a slippery ice path. If I'm not mistaken, there is an ice slide utility uh... channel talent. I don't have that though. Kasumi did not take. <laughs> like, you could do some like Iceman stuff. Yes. That's cool. Well, okay. uh, I'm gonna roll strength to see if I can help. Well, it's just really your carrying capacity. And hey, actually, yeah, you're you're able to assist. That's literally what you need to roll to make an. Uh, it works. Assuming you get underneath the like forearm, it's you know this arm isn't even half the size of the other one. It's still growing back, and that means it's <coughs> isn't there. So it's still just bleeding everywhere. Um, so your shoulder's very rapidly covered in yellow goo, but it's a helping. living. You're helping out Mino. Um, as you continue. Uh, Pascal uh, goes up to you, pal, as you're continuing along. Oh, I think you might need to take the head, because I think I'm the only one who's going to be able to carry the leg. Okay, I will do my best. Right. I'll carry until we get there. We are there! Oh. oh! And before you is the leg stood up like the lamp from a Christmas store. <laughs> On a plinth. On an island. In the okay. middle of a rushing river. The fuck? A river of wine. Ooh. Sexy. I'm, can I just fly over it? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, good point. I could try to put it in the bag of holding and everyone... I, mean, I could, like, fly across the rope, and then we can tie it to the... Uh, uh, I don't know. Could be. Um, the river itself, it's about 20 feet across. 
even at this point, it rushes around this island uh, 20 feet across on either side. Um, but above and below the island, it's wider than that. It's more like 50 feet. The island itself is about 30 feet in diameter. Does the leg appear to be serving a purpose, or is it, like, aesthetic? Funny you ask that. Okay. It, it's just like a leg for fun. Yeah, it could cool. be. A cool, artful leg. A, a little leg is a treat. <laughs> Tantalus can have a lot of angel light. <laughs> um, so, Leg is sat there on a plinth, stood directly up, sort of like in a brace. And around it are three gulaba. Are they just kind of like dancing around? They are cavorting. Okay. Yeah. Is it like a maypole of a leg? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are there are three ribbons tied. Oh man, Rita deflated. <laughs> tied to the top of where the leg is, and they are dancing around it and slowly wrapping the leg up. <laughs> Singing about how they are wrapping the leg. <laughs> to be cooked for dinner by the great Tantalus. It doesn't rhyme very well, but uh, and honestly, the song is kind of off tune. But uh, they seem to be enjoying themselves, regardless. Well, they would be. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Wrapping up the leg for Tantalus to be eaten. Once the legs wrapped up, oh, 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 <laughs> the, the sound of their song is drifting over the sound of the rushing wine river. I love this. Yeah, I'm man. sorry. I'm They're sorry. screaming this song. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm back. Are we gonna kill some Oompa Loompas? <laughs> kind of. That's kind Once of what we've been doing. Golden brown. It will be delicious. Oh God, we are. Holy shit! Some sexy Oompa Loompas. At the same time, isn't this like a good idea? What like, is? No, like this whole idea of like, okay, so the arm just keeps growing back, right? Yeah. Forever. Uh-huh. And it doesn't rot. Nope. Infinite food source. Yeah. We don't want them to have an infinite food source that is an angel. Oh, not, not for Oh, are you still hot? Do you need a cup of coffee? Are you still buzzed? I'm not Kasumi. What the fuck? I've never been Kasumi. What is that? Your friend appears to be chemically altered. Yeah. I've become something more. She's become the bone ship. Oh, great. <laughs> No, that doesn't sound good at all. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, Wait. real quick. I was just looking lovingly at my girlfriend talking to my son, and it was really cute. And then she shrugged at me and burped. <laughs> and that, that's, that's just the kind of vibe that's, I had. That's true before. love. Yeah. Very good. There are three gulaba. Yes, and you remember that it has the ability to compel you to take part of physical comforts, yeah. like food. Or drink. Yes. Fa la 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 la. No. 
Let's just la, kill la, them all. Lava la, 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 are smarter la, la, than Irago. <laughs> Let's just kill them all. Like, Let's just kill them all. I pull out my sword. I don't like them. Oh, dang it. There is a Wait, river it's... of wine in the way. I stare at I stare at the river of wine. Hey. The river of wine is a river of wine. It is rushing pretty quickly. I could just drink the whole river. You would die. Damn you voice in my head. I appreciate your ambition, but it would kill you. But what a death. It wouldn't kill me. There is so much more that you could yet do. Uh, you're right. Fine. I don't know what to do. Wait a second. Wait a second. I roll. Do I still have Sailor? I'm going to roll Sailor. I should know how to cross a river. One second. Oh, right. I, I switched to Soldier. God damn it. Never mind. And... Hey! You uh -huh. guys are... We want to talk! Sister! Mortals approach us. Oh, yes. A number of mortals. They look <coughs> scrumptious. Yes, sister. Why don't you go forth and treat with the mortals? We shall finish wrapping the leg. Yes. Oh, I hate okay. that. I really and don't like that. Hands their ribbon to another. And while the two continue to spin around the, the leg, carefully wrapping it to cook it. Why it needs to be wrapped before it's cooked, you're not sure. But well, maybe they're wrapping it in twine. Like, you know, one of those things where they like to let the juice, make sure the juices stay in. Um, like a ham, like a ham hock. Oh, actually, that makes perfect sense. Thank you, person who cooks more than I do. <clears throat> I'm a southern boy. I, I know. I know about meats. Um, and the last gulaba. Her begins. Her wings begin beating like that of a bumblebee. They Cute. Languidly lift her. And oh, float her over, gently, to your position. Oh my God, I love her. Get ready to tear her wings apart. That's so cute. No! Hello, children of Logos. Hello! Have you, you come to partake of our le Wait a moment. And she looks at you guys, hefting the other leg, two arms, and the actual head of Amantha. Yeah, we're here for that. We've come to give you a gift of the rest of him. She goes, Sisters! Defend the leg! The but, models come to take it! Sounds. Yeah, I was bluffing to try to convince them that we were giving them the rest of them. Oh, I didn't see that. Um, oh, I, I, I haven't rolled yet, but I just yeah, said. No, if, I, did not, I actually did not hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, uh, we're, no, we're here to give it to you. For a safe passage. Um, Sisters, defend the leg! Do I get a bonus because they really want the rest of them? Uh, That's okay. It, it was a, it's not that big a deal. Unfortunately, Gulaba actually have very good sense motive. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, and, um... Nice. Uh, you come to the That was nice. That which we already have. You have clearly stolen uh, these limbs uh, from where they belong. Sorry. And no, we have a receipt for one of them. 
Jesus Christ. Damn. <laughs> that wasn't me that time. <laughs> that was me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> You would thieve these legs from our Lord tent. You shall face the wrath of me. Bernadette. Bernadette. You have an issue with my name? No, I think it's pretty cool. Is it because uh, yeah, rad? Is it because you burn people who are debts? No, it's just what I'm called. Oh. It's just, just a name. It's not as cool anymore. Please roll ah, for initiative. Okay. Cool uh, also, wait, Firefox crash, give me a second. No. Uh, yes, I do. Becoming the potion. You did? I rolled my head. Uh, uh. I've been like, oh, sorry. This I haven't drank like I, I haven't drunk one in one of these in like a while. Well, mute yourself when you're belching if you mind. Oh, I thought I was being impressive, but apparently I was being rude. Also, some would probably think it impressive. I have never been one of those people. Roll 20 being... Okay, fair enough. I actually think burping is gross. Uh, here we go. Let me see if this works. It it didn't. I, I have my pog selected and I rolled initiative. You need to roll it from your sheet. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. I was oh. trying a macro. Um, oh. oh. And it didn't work. I thought it would work. Okay. Also a 9. Wow. Okay. I guess I'll go last. Amusingly because, enough, you still so, go before the Gulaba. So is there any reason why this macro doesn't work when I... Like, it has to be from the sheet? Yeah, if it wants to work with the initiative tracker, I'm pretty sure. Um, it must be a... Yeah. Show me the code, roll 20, so I can make another roll. So I can make my... So I can make right. my own roll 20. Is it... What is roll twenty open source? Oh, maybe. Open source cannot be rolled. Like no, there's right. no way. Oh, it is actually open source. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, I can make my own roll twenty if I want. <laughs> With blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I, out of curiosity, I'll roll it just to see. Uh, Kasumi, you just need your initiative left. He's too busy being with his happy family to roll dice with us. That or he fell asleep. Or he's eating dinner. Dinner, dinner. I got tired dinner. of listening to Nuva burp. Um, <laughs> he, he was burping too. That's what I. That's what. That's what inspired me to burp. Hmm. That's cool. It. Wonderful. Thank you. I'll take it. Sada, later. it is your turn first. A gulaba menaces you. The gulaba is about ten feet away from you. Okay. You do. Good roll. Yes, it does. And deals are 27 damage. And deals are 27 plus 28 damage. Oh, boy. Oh. 
if you take it off, if you if power attack is only added to melee and you take uh, if you make sneak attack not a melee attack, it should work. Right, but is um. No, well, I don't know that. Um, all right, you strike her, and she and she hisses as she leaps back, catching the blade with her fingernail, using them, and uh, barely escaping with a without more severe injuries. She looks pissed. Yeah, sometimes you just need to turn it off and on again. <laughs> Paulina. Okay, I'm going to kick her ass. She hisses at you. I kicked the ass. Oh my god. Yeah. But they have like brutal damage reduction, don't they? They oh. have good damage reduction. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, those all hit. Woohoo! A one, a two, a three, a four. Four. Oh, there you go. Yeah, four is disappointing. Yep. Okay, um, you unleash upon her a flurry of mighty blows, and by the end of it, she is looking messed the hell up. She is staggering backwards towards the river and going, uh, uh, What mortals are these? I, I'm not even going to have a turn at this rate. I can't even use my temptation powers. This. You jerks. I hate you. Both. All of you. Um, Kasumi, it is your turn. Okay. Um, well, it's just one of them, so I'm not going to bother with the clone. So that's just, that's, you know, taking a turn, and I don't want to take a turn. Um, other than my turn that I'm taking right now, of course. Okay. I oh Nima's gone, he's dead. Uh I am going to I'm just gonna use a cold blast on her. A cold blast. Yeah. Touch attack. Yeah, boy. Oh boy, that hits and does damage. Enough damage that she freezes solid and attempting to escape from you breaks one of her legs and then shatters. And does she next. shatter like like a game character into Orky Alchem. Yes. Yeah. That's the good cool. stuff. Well. Three pieces of work, Alchem, in fact. Yeah. Only three? Only three. Damn. Oh, hey, we're up to 15 now. Oh, no. Her sisters go screech in anger and okay. hatred but and their and with their wings begin buzzing towards you I miss me hmm um I can't believe we lost Nuva. May hey, rest in peace. So. All right, one Gulaba buzzes up to you, Sad. Huh? Oh no! And she reaches forward to touch you. Nice. No. What's your touch AC? It is. Let me check. Probably not great. It is 18. All right. That's pretty good, but unfortunately she does yeah. touch you. Um, Nuva, you're back from the grave. Or no, are you? Not. Oh, maybe that was, not. 
Oh, really annoying. Okay, am I back? Yes. Yeah. Hey, yeah. All right. What's go? What's happening to me, Siles? You must make a will save. No. As your mind is compelled to partake of the delicious morsels about you. No. That's not good enough. I know. <laughs> Sada. Hugo. What? This person's right. No. I've been way too hard on myself. <laughs> I should just start drinking all this wine. No. Is uh, this the wait, end? Well, on your turn, we'll find out. Okay. Um, <laughs> the rest of you, um, as this gulaba, this gulaba clearly touched Sada, but did not do anything to harm her. The rest of you can tell, though, that Salada, uh, Salada, um, Sada, Salada. That's your new. That's your Opalupa name. Sada has uh, turned into Slada. A salad. Isn't that the name of uh, those Naruto characters, kid? What? Yeah. How am I, how am I if supposed? You have a, if I have a daughter know. named Salad. <laughs> um, Sada clearly looks like her mind is being affected. She's gotten a little slack jawed and is now staring towards the um, <laughs> the surroundings, either hungrily or thirstily. In turn, that would have been the best coincidence, Rita. Uh, the other is going to float it's over. True. And touch pow since she is the other one who murdered a uh since she is the one who actually murdered um her sister such as sisters are what is your touch ac pow oh touch ac oh it is a 30 a 30 uh-huh you matrix dodge with yeah. like a centimeter of space, this Glaba's clawed hand as it just barely misses the tip of your nose, and she grits her teeth in frustration as you uh, recover. Um, Shunichi, it's your turn. Shinichi doesn't have a uh, player, so. <laughs> or does he? And then our special guest <laughs> comes in. Uh, Shinichi is going to walk over to Sada and is going to ask. Tamiyo Ryudo, are you all right? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to drink that river of wine. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, he is going to try and grapple. <laughs> I just, I just need to drink that river of wine. Uh, I don't think he succeeds. He's Let not very see. good at it. My CMD is thirty, so no. All right, you slip out from underneath his mechanical uh. grasp. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Mino is going to go up right behind Paulina, and you. <laughs> I shit. Now you cut out for me. And do what? Uh, Mino is stabbing at a gulaba. Oh. Aha. Um. And she will do so with her stabbing stick. She'll make a full attack. Ba ba. Ooh, good job, Mino. Um, total of eighteen damage on one of the gulaba. As she stabs at it twice. The Galaba does not seem terribly put off, though. Akio, is your turn. Uh, how close can I actually attack him? Uh, yes. I do. Have, is it close enough for like a full round, or do I have to move and attack? You would have to move. Mino right, is I, standing fairly far forward, and she has a reach weapon. I I do that. Oh, I provoke an attack of opportunity. Is what you're saying? No, no, no. You're fine. Oh, okay, I do that. Okay. Oh, good job. Uh, those all hit. What? I mean, only uh, the first. Or rather, one. the first one hits because that was the only one that was a real attack. 
Um, so yeah, you slash at Gulab, uh, who continues to take injury, but she seems not very put off as of yet. Your blows not weighing upon her healthy. And then it is Suru's turn. There's a loud thud as the leg <coughs> hits the ground. And Suru draws her massive sword. And she looks very grumpy. She charges past you and slashes at one of the Gulaba. Ah, she crit again. Yeah. Uh, That's classic Suru. She only crits on a 19 through 20. There's a 10% chance, and I feel like it happens a lot. Um, yeah, no, she just roars and charges over and just leaves one and gl- <laughs> As Gulaba bits spray everywhere, and, uh, and yeah, you're left with four or, or a Calcum where it weren't And uh, Sada, it's now your turn. The other Gulaba is just seen to have murdered very easily. And just... all right, I guess I, I had the dirt. Start... I think I may be trying to punch above my weight. I class. guess I guess I just had to start running toward the uh, River of Wine, right? Or wait, I uh, do I get yeah, a chance? You're actually like pretty much adjacent to it right now. Do you get a chance to resist? Uh, you will at the end of your turn. Okay. Well, right. what's your Constitution modifier? It is. Let's see. Here. My con modifier? Yes. It's three. Okay, so you can have three drinks without being adversely affected. Um, the issue is, once you do that, the workings of the Verdant Groves itself. Yeah. And just, uh, mucking with your brain. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Sada, uh, you need to make a will save. All right. You need to make two will saves, actually. One against the uh, to break the Glavis effect. And one to not fall prey of the Verdant Groves. All right, time to roll my bad will. All right, the Gulaba's effect stays in place. Oh no! All right, I start. I dunk, dunk. Do I dunk my head into the river of wine? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> roll a uh, roll again, please. All right. All right, and the Verdant Groves now compelled. Oh no. So, double trouble. Yep. Not only are you uh, inclined to indulge right now, you are being compelled to indulge in what you're doing right now, specifically until yep. well, forever. Yep. It's not, it doesn't like tell you to do this until you die. It just, it's just like, this isn't this great. It's the best wine you've ever tasted. <laughs> you've, you've never tasted anything close to this. Cannot imagine going without. Oh, no. Um, one more thing. Yeah. Make a reflex save. All right. I'm good at that, but it's be bad. All right, Sada. As you start uh, dunking your hand into the water, um, and pulling wine out to uh, drink it from your hand. Um, you do this a couple of times, and on one of them, you feel something try to grab you. Oh, no. But you mm. are agile enough to slide your hand out of it. <laughs> and with that, you, unlike everyone else, can now see past the opaque liquid. Oh. You see it into it for a moment. And you can see that at the bottom of this river of wine are people... Oh no! To the riverbed. Jeez. Ooh. Constantly drowning. <laughs> and one just tried to pull you in. Ah. Well, so I'm that sure, will I'm sure be that a hazard as you continue to partake yes, of it. I'm sure that won't dissuade me. No, it won't. <laughs> oh no. All right, there's still a gulaba left, and now it's Pow's turn. I'm gonna kick her ass. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Hey, yeah, she says. Hey, yeah. Those are hey, the yeah. Yeah, but they're not very good ones. Well, I'm sorry. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Come I could have done I could have done all you better. winners. So many ones. What is this? Tranquility Reader. That was a lot of ones, though. Uh huh. But you know, some days. You just can't get rid of a one? <laughs> some days you one shot a Arago. Some days you don't. This uh, Gulaba, aware of what you can do, defends herself a little bit more than the previous one. And so it's not nearly so poorly left at the end of it. Kasumi, it is your turn. I will finish what Pal started. All right, that does hit. Um, unfortunately, uh, Succubi do take li uh, less damage against cold, similar to what Pow is dealing with. Um, so you do not finish what Pow started. You instead uh, frost the um, Gulab's hand a bit, and uh, she shakes it out. And yes, now her, the tips of her hair are frosted too. Yeah. And it's now her turn. I'm not a fan of that noise. She will turn to you, Paulina, and she will attempt to touch you once more. Don't. Oh, all right. Well, since you asked nicely. <laughs> cool. But this time, you know what's coming. You easily dodge out of the way. Get your grubby mitts away from me. No, stand still. No. You'll like it. I won't. Let me, just let me touch you. Ow. Please. No. I don't no. want to no. like it. Boy. No. Just having a fucking slap fight. <laughs> Shunichi goes. Shunichi is going to try and pull... Uh, pow. Um, it's going to try and pull... He does not succeed. Oh, no. No Shut one up, can please. save me. Do not succumb to this. <laughs> all, all my defenses are too good except for my will. <laughs> Why I had to come to this? Okay. Mino attacks this remaining Gulaba with her Yari and does not a ton of damage. I have a question. Can I intimidate your will? I guess we'll see when it's my turn. Uh, Akio, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to perform a dazzling dance. Am I within view of Tombstone? I mean, Sada? I mean, yes. Sada. I mean, what, what's your name now? S S Sadla? Salada. 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 I perform a dazzling dance for Sada specifically. A, da a dance that's so dazzling <laughs> that hopefully it will wake you from your drunken will. You're all above a 40? Sure. Okay, let's see if I do that. Uh, Intimidate. God. Oh, hey! That is technically wow. a warning. Wait. Did you... Ah, it's close. Oh, but plus five. Is... You're right. Yeah. yeah. That is a plus five. <laughs> Stop drinking the river. Sada, you get an immediate will. <laughs> <laughs> Failure. Come on, Wilson. roll good. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> So close, but so far. Oh, you had. Uh, oh, uh, you like briefly glance up at Akio dancing <laughs> and just <laughs> and keep drinking. It was such a good dance, though. Ugh. Really freaking good dance. Yeah. Okay, well, I also assume that I intimidated the. Uh... Oh, the Gulaba is like freaked the fuck. <laughs> and now she's about to die because Sue is going to go, and I'm sure. She... Ow! 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 Holy shit! I just hit my fucking foot. Okay, I'm good. Suru's first blow reduces the Galaba to one hit point. Okay. Suru's second blow misses. As the Galaba realizes that 
Suru's third blow catches her on the back, slams her down into the earth, and splatters her like a bug. Killing the Kumara. And giving you nine auric alchemy. The Galabas nice. of the leg are now dead. So now we're up to... Well, we saw to get across. We're up to 24 or Calcum. Nice. I'm gonna buy a butt. <laughs> oh, did you stop... Did you, did you stop drinking the river? No, I'm still drinking it. I'm pretty sure. I hit you on the... Still drinking the river. You are now on initiative. I hit her on the glug, back glug, of the glug, head. Glug, 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 glug. Um, I hit her on the out, and her face falls in the river, and she's still and just. And I'm dead. Sada, so make another. Save, please. What? Sada, so make another will save and another reflex save. All right. And then people can do things to help her. Okay. I'm gonna beat the so shit out of you. Sada, you successfully are not pulled into the river, but you are. Um. Still beholden to the deleterious effects. Of... Yep. <laughs> Stop drinking. No. Bad for your. It's bad for your lover. I say unironically, with no irony whatsoever. <laughs> I pull out a wine bottle and I fill it up. Stop uh, drinking. Is anyone <laughs> going to try and do something? Yeah. I I I, I hold her with one hand. What can while you I do, up. pal? I don't know. <laughs> Can't really hold you back. Okay, I'm going to do another dazzling dance. Okay. Watch. Just sort of slap you on the face a bit. Oh, I failed. Wow. You do oh. not successfully convey another will save. Anybody else want to try something? I don't want to like pow? beat up beat up our boss or anything, but I've been waiting for this moment. I cracked like my knuckles. A little, like a little slap. I'm going to beat the shit out of you, Sada. Slapping Sada slightly does not seem to do. Well, you just <sighs> grab her. I'm not very strong. Kasumi, could you, like, dump some cold water on her head or something? I, I dump some cold water on her head and then tell Siru to just pick her up. Oh, yeah. All right, Siru. Um, all right. Uh, so Kasumi still dumps cold water on Sada's head. And then Suru is going to try and wrestle um, the uh, edge. Uh, Shunichi is going to help since that's what he's been doing, adding a plus two to his role here. It's a good thing he did. That is a yeah, 30, which enough, means it's just, yeah. just enough to match Sada. Ah! Um, Sada, you're being grappled by Suru and pulled away from the water, or the wine, rather. Come um, on, just another sip. No. Yes. <laughs> oh. No. Um, oh, why not? <laughs> She, I mean, look at her. She, she's, she's like a little baby suckling on a river of teats. Sada, you are <laughs> desperate to get out of Suru's gra grasp and oh, to the wine. Yeah. Um, as you do so, Pascal walks up with the head of Amuntha. And he goes, Sada Ryudo, look into my eyes. <laughs> Can I do so? Yes. You can briefly take your All right. tear away. And as soon as you tear away your... You stare into them, and... The vast depths of his eternal soul stare back into yours. And you feel, feel your mind clear, like a weight or a claw has been removed from it. And you are no longer addicted to the wine. Oh, I'm afraid of my diminished state. And then I puke. Blech. You've got nice eyes. Right. Uh, not onto Amon's eye, I hope. No. <laughs> I'm afraid of my diminished state. That That is the only time I will be able to rescue one of you. Please do not fall afoul to yeah. this plane. I'd rather side. not. Again. But what a way to go. Am I right? No. 
It's bad. Incidentally, it is about lunchtime now in New York. But other than that. I look at the leg that's being cooked. The leg is not yet being cooked. It was just being wrapped in preparation to seal in its juices. Hmm. It is still on an island across from you, across a river of uh, wine that also has a bunch of people in it that want to drag you. Oh, heck. Let me see if I have... And we're also at 9.30. Yes. It's like the end of that Harry Potter book. Which means we will ah. put a pause here and we'll come back next week to determine what happens. What happens. I won't be here. Good luck, that everybody. Is a bummer, actually. As well yeah. as Jake. Next time what? we we put the we put it together. You're not gonna. Are you gonna be here next week? Why wouldn't I be? I thought you said in the. Okay, misread. Never mind. <laughs> um, Rita, what are you doing next week? Why won't I be here? Rita, tell us all your business. Oh, she's doing weed. I'm, I'm gonna go to Ottawa and see a bunch of friends and and go watch the Sonic. A bunch of Weed chocolate? Oh, was that? I'm oh. sorry. You and drink a you... bunch of red wine. Hell yeah. I did that before, and I just... Uh... I was skating on the canal. That sounds oh, like nice. a good-ass time. I want weed chocolate. Yeah, and 